There we go. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to some more Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous. I don't know what I'm doing, apparently. Um, we played for five hours or something crazy last time just to kick it all off. A bunch of crazy stuff happened. Uh, mainly, uh, we saw a massive dragon get killed by a demon lord. Uh, the dragon Tendalib was killed by Daskari, the uh, dragon lord of plagues and insects or something like that. Um, and we got shoved into the underground and started dealing with these people called mongrels, which are nice people, actually. They just look kind of strange to us upworlders uh, or overlanders or whatever they called us. And now we are... Uh, there was some lying done and somebody was apparently giving themselves to a demon never good stuff never good stuff um but we are about to take our steps onto the surface so i say let's just jump into it again It just fell? What the hell was that? Okay, whatever. Um, let's check out... Wait, can I not... Is he not dead? Is he not dead? Oh, Scylla. Ooh, what does she have? An unidentified... An unidentified glaive. Which is... Marching Terror, two-handed glaive, plus, uh, whenever this plus one glaive lands a hit on a new enemy for the first time, the target receives 1d6 negative damage, and all other enemies in a 15-foot radius must pass a DC 17 will saving throw or become frightened for one round. That's what happened to me, actually. I was wondering why my people were running away, and that's because she hit one person with it, and all of a sudden everyone just started freaking out. Um... Yeah, we're going to take all this. Yeah, uh, yeah, collect it all. Um, and talk to the mongrel. Uh, uh, groan. Um, is there anyone else I can really talk to? That's a, another, yeah, a bunch of mongrels. Um, where's the head mongrel dudo? Not him. Oh, yeah, Horace Gorm. Oh, that's where we're getting out of these filthy caves. You're right. You're very right, dude. This guy's cool looking. He's got like ant he's got like uh, antlers and stuff. Burgos Grim, Chief Soul. Best of luck. Um. Yeah, he's good. I I like I like all these uh, all these character models. This is cool. People got horns and wings and all sorts of stuff. Um. I think we're I think we're ready to go. I think we're ready to get on out. Oh, there was something that I was missing, wasn't there? Wasn't there something I was missing from the uh There was that one. Uh Day in the City. Oh, I guess I don't have that anymore. There was a quest that I had that uh, there was some there was a paladin sword in the maze that I could just couldn't find. There was also this thing over here. Oh man, maybe I want to go back there. Hmm. The issue was I didn't find any clues or anything, so I wasn't entirely sure. Uh, yeah, I don't even have that anymore. I mean, I, I'm gonna get stuff to replace it anyway, but. Wait, what the hell is this place? Wait, wasn't wasn't that here? Oh, I was here already. Oh, I need to go that way. <laughs> Whoops. Whoopsie. Everyone counts on me. 
Oh, that's right. If you double click the portrait, you can um, uh, you can follow. Your camera will follow. All right. We ready to we ready to skidoo, y'all. Who do I need to talk to? Oh, there we are. Well, not this way, clearly. Oh, there it is. Go upstairs. Trophies left at shield maze. Oh, uh... No, I don't necessarily need all this stuff. I'm on heavy load, so I guess I could take a few things. That's useless. That is not worth it. I don't think that I need a lot of this. It's worth nine. That's not worth it. Yeah, I don't think... I think I dropped all this stuff simply because... Oh, no, that's definitely worth it. Yeah, composite longbow. Oh, yeah. Uh, let's see. Heavy pick, the comma. Yeah, I don't think... Is that pile of stuff. Yep, I think I'm good. I'll just leave. While the survivors wander the dungeons, the battle on the surface rages on. Uh oh. The warriors of Canabris are trying to defend the Wardstone, but their strength is flagging. Their resistance is valiant, yet it will all be in vain if no one rises up to turn the tide. Shout out to all these paladins fighting off with all these babos, and I think these are Taurus, not Taurus demons, that's from Dark Souls. <laughs> no, whatever these demons are in the background, because I know those babos are really fucking difficult. <laughs> Uh, let's see what's in here. Oh, so that goes down that way. Can I look at it? Where the mongrels live. I guess I'm just gone. I guess I'm just done. Hello. A... Just a regular long spear. Okay, alright. Let's head out. There's really nothing else here, huh? Okay, all right. Let's head on upstairs. Oh shit. Oh, uh, they did it. They handled it just fine. A half work before you, wearing armor adorned with Iomade's golden swords, is clearly exhausted. She obviously hasn't gotten much sleep over the last few days. There's soot in her face and fresh blood on her sword. Her hazel eyes are hard and focused. Her firm voice sounds accustomed to giving orders. She sizes you up, surprised, judging whether you are friend or foe, and opens her mouth to ask you something, but freezes when she spots it. Anivia. Oh, wow, she is enormous compared to Anivia. <laughs> By the goddess, Nebi, I, I'd almost lost all hope. Everything's fine, Beth. I'm here. I'm here. This here's a new friend. He rounded up those of us who survived the fall and led us up to the surface. Without him, we'd never have made it out. Let me introduce you to my wife, Arabeth Tirabade, head of the Eagle Watch. Cool. I have work nods. Until the army arrives, I'm the temporary warden of Canavris. And you're just in time. As you can see, we're in the middle of a battle. And thank you for getting me. Uh, where are we? The Grey Garrison. Until recently, it served as barracks for the Crusaders, but it's now been taken over by cultists. Well, what is the target of this battle? When the demons attacked the city, their main target was the Wardstone. 
I trust I don't have to explain to you what the Wardstone is and how important it is to the Crusaders. We must retake it at any cost, or the fall of Canabras will be the beginning of the end of the Crusades, and with them, the rest of the world. Uh huh. I see that you had a difficult journey to the surface. You need to rest. But there's a lot riding on this battle. I have no right to command you, but I'm asking you to help us. I have important information about the lo location of a cultist den. Very good. Report to me in full when we get back to the Defender's Heart. It's our temporary headquarters. Right now, the most dangerous cultists are here. The ones occupying the Grey Garrison. Uh, we met some mongrels who live beneath Canabras. This is Lan. Most people in Canabras think that the children of the First Crusaders are simply a legend. Other people say that the day you emerge on the surface heralds the start of the end of the world. I'm not superstitious, but the situation is apocalyptic, all right. Having a living legend on our side can't hurt. Heh, <laughs> cool. Come on, living legend? A walking folktale, maybe? I just need to make sure I don't turn into a running joke. Not you, Lan. That's impossible. All right, what's the, what's the situation in the city? The city's gone. Oh no. Most of the defenders, <laughs> oh, shit. including the dragon Terendalev, fell in the first few hours. The civilians either fled or died in the chaos. The place is overrun with cultists and demons. Mm hmm Don't talk like that. Canabras hasn't fallen. Not while it still has defenders like you and me. Sweet words don't change the grim truth. Yeah. No, she's right. Thank you, Knight. Until we no longer have the strength to hold a weapon, until Ioma Day abandons us, we will fight for Canopus. All right, all right. Uh, t tell me about this Wardstone. Why is it so important? Even though she just was like, I hope I don't need to tell you about the Wardstone. <laughs> the Wardstones are a gift of Ioma Day, created personally by her herald, a mighty angel, and a general of the Celestial Armies. The Wardstones keep the world ruined from expanding. They stand along the border of the territory controlled by the demons, creating a barrier to keep them inside. The Canabras Obelisk was the first to be placed. It is the key to the whole barrier. We cannot leave it in the hands of those monsters from the Abyss. Yeah, I would say so. Uh, how, did, how did the Wardstone end up in... Didn't she just say that? I'll do it anyway. The demons have long laid siege to Canabras, but this time, their lord Descari appeared in the flesh. He ripped the wardstone from the ground and hurled it halfway across the city to here. I thought the stone was destroyed, but it seems all is not lost yet. Descari has gone, but the wardstone is surrounded by a horde of those creatures. What are they going to do to it? Nothing good, that's for certain. Yeah, I can't imagine they're gonna put, you know, put a protective barrier on it. But how did he do that? He's a demon. The Wardstone should have burned his filthy hide. Good question. It should have, but what happened happened. We don't know why. Let's not waste any time to battle. That's the spirit. You take Anavia to the rear. The rest of you with me. <laughs> you hear labored breathing interspersed with disgruntled muttering. Orgus is holding his rapier hilted with a, with a, in a white knuckled grip. A bead of sweat trickles down from his temple. <laughs> what you gonna do now, businessman, when the demons start overrunning everything? Lord Horgus Worm, forgive me. I did not realize we had civilians among us. My people will escort you somewhere safe. To the extent that anywhere in Canopus can be said to be safe right now. Okay, so they escort the, him out, and then I got these people, I guess. That's right. Fighting spirit is the one thing that we've got plenty of. <sighs> Actual fighting power? That's not so great. Fighting know-how? Even worse. But fighting spirit? <laughs> At least we're rich in that. Yeah, Lan. For Ioma Day! For the Queen! Kill the beast! Erebeth raises her blade, and the soldiers, inspired by her cry, rush into battle with renewed vigor. 
Okay. If we're if we're all good, I guess I guess we're all good. Uh oh. They have masterwork bardishes. Oh. Okay. What are these things anyway? No reason to pause. Well, yeah, I wanted to identify these things though, isn't that what that's for? Uh, I guess not. Okay. The door won't budge. It looks like it's it looks like it's locked from the other side. Oh my god! It's just like Dark Souls. Okay. Well. Oh hello. Save the last one for me. Uh, Discari cultist. Okay, so we just went to cultists. Oh, Discari and ba Baphomet cultist. Okay. I could probably do a bomb here. Yeah, yeah, let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. Throw it. Oh no, wait. Uh, you know, that works. It's like a critical hit, and having successfully confirmed it whenever character makes an attack roll and gets a 20. Yeah, 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 okay. Alright. What do we got? What do we got here? Uh, oh, they had a bunch of summon monsters. Oh, this is really good. That is... Okay. Alright. Yeah, it's unfortunate that, um... Sealed with magic. Okay, I can see they really railroading me into here. Ah, fuck. Do it again. Can I have you try to try to try to do it? Nope. Okay. Well, that sucks. Right, let's get out there. What is this thing? Hey, I know you. You're one of those cultists. How's it going, pal? Want to join? Your lava will be all dead soon, but we'll be alive. I, uh, I can't. Come on, leave those losers. The crusades are over. Soon the demons will rule the whole world. Really? He goes, nothing. All hail for vomit. Cowardly traitor. I swear the sword of Iomide you will answer to your betrayal. <laughs> Alright, uh, I have a perfect opportunity to do this. There we go. Is there a bomb? Wow, they're all casting divine favor and shit. <laughs> Come on, throw a bomb. I just want to get one bomb off, dude. Huh. Boom, got it. Wait, wh where are you guys going? Uh, the two of you should not be that far. Okay, it looks like I need to bring my two guys back over here. Lay on hands. Lay on hands yourself. Could I have to use myself? Why? Oh. Did I mess up again? Why? Why? Oh, they're just going. Okay. Oh, I want to. Yeah, pick their stuff up. Scroll that calls fear. Scroll that removes sickness. More of these. Uh, yeah, it's not, that's not great. No. Uh, regular daggers and stuff. But you have, ooh, a Masterwork Scythe? Well, hell yeah. God, that's really good. Oh, man, I miss the old days of first edition where <laughs> Scythe and a few other weapons had times four crit. And so, uh, yeah, if you, 
If he did that, it was... Uh, yeah, 2d4 times 4. Just, God, so much damage. Alright, let's take all this stuff. Any of this masterwork? Any of it actually really good? Doesn't look like it. Together we stand. Uh, consumables, consumables, there it is. I got plenty of these things right now, so. Use. Oh, do I have a shield for you? No, not yet. Well, is this any better than what you have? I actually don't think it is. Oh, it's a little bit better, actually, yeah. Okay. Oh, but... Against undead. If I know I'm going to fight undead, I'll definitely equip that, though. And I did, oh God, I would love to give her a hit, uh, this thing, but I don't think it's actually all that worth it. There's no other magic. I don't have any more magic stuff. Goodness. Okay. Lead on. Uh, I need to go check these guys for their stuff really quick. What's he? What's this? Oh, regular short sword. Nice. Chainmail, also cool. Masterwork longbow. Ooh. Ooh, actually, I just thought of something. Meditate on your mistakes. He has... Do what does he have right now? A composite longbow. That's a regular composite longbow. There's a masterwork longbow. Well, actually, the composite longbow is better for him. A composite bow is better for him because, of fact, um, he he's the Zen archer, so he has that thing where he can do his flurry of blows... And he gets to add, like, a strength modifier to it. So it's actually not that much better. Okay, I bring a longbow. Okay. Yeah, his strength and dex are exactly the same. As a monk would, would be, yeah. Okay. And I don't think there's anything over here. Nope. Can I open this door? Nope. Holy shit. Wait, is that the... Is that the Wardstone? Holy shit. That's the Wardstone. We're all fucked. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, they're really pushing home that I can't open up any of these doors. Ah! Don't want any of this. Uh, oh wait, composite longbow is worth money though. Oh, I left all that. No way. Oh, I left a lot of stuff. I'm gonna be so overburdened, but lots of money. Regular composite longbow. Uh, I'm gonna leave just a shit ton of armor that I'm just n not needing right now. Yeah, see, look, I'm already down. <laughs> I'm already down under it. Uh, how much of this is just not worth it? The Warhammer is not worth it. Could I sort this by chance? I don't think I can. That's fine. No accessories, ingredients. This is all the treasure. Hey, I thought I had two of her scales. Oh man, maybe I used one. Whoops. Okay, leave. Hey, what's going on, guys? What's this? Do we have guests? Just in time. The place is a bit of a mess, and I haven't even poured the blood into the goblets yet. Why don't you... Oh. The face of this demoness could be called pretty, 
if it had eyes. Her mouth slowly widens to a smug grin. Ew. Do you see that? Ugh. Do what? Have you missed me? Excuse you? Admit it. You missed me terribly. Excuse you? Where are you? You again, you wench! This aged dwarf from this aged dwarf from Erebus troops, silent silent up to now, spits on the floor. His hardened craggy face like storm weathered stone, twists as if in pain. Stoughton vain. Minago. Be careful. She's one of the deadliest creatures in the whole demon horde. She was once responsible for a massacre in Canabras. She must be back to finish what she started. <laughs> uh Okay, I could ask if he how he knows this demon, however. I could easily say, what's wrong with your face? And I find that very funny. Uh, I'll ask how he knows her. Is gone to the abyss. She's the reason why Dresden fell. Dresden. Dresden. Fortified as a city fortress during the hubris of the first Mendevian Crusade, Dresden was overtaken by the demonic hordes of the World Wound and now stands as a demonic monument to the foolish naivety of those early crusaders. Ooh. Oh man, she's got a. I'm gonna enjoy ripping her, ripping her in two. Claim that Dresden fell because of me. No, no, my dear. That was entirely your own doing. Man, demons are the worst. Demons are just the absolute worst. I'll beat your lying lips into your filthy throat. Yeah, tell her. Tell her, Stoughton. Now, Stoughton, don't say things like that. Not about these lips, the ones you kissed so sweetly. Stoughton, dearest. Don't you love me anymore? Remember how good we were together? I was so hoping that we could patch things up. Nah. I'll kill you! Tell her. She just leaves. Jeez. Uh, okay, so we got Dretches, Cultists, Sharpshooters. I should probably try to take those guys out. Oh, the Neophyte Wizard. I absolutely have to take him. Oh, these are the, the interesting creatures. So these guys hate art, if I remember correctly. Uh, demoralize, inspire rage, mutilation. Is that what it is? No, it's not that one. Destructive attacks? Oh, yes, yeah, Sunder attempts. Yeah, so they hate art. Um, I wish I knew how to see, like, the background knowledge on them. Because, uh, this is one of those demons that, like, when they see, like, art or beautiful things, they, like, bleh! I hate it! All right, um, you, I would like you to cast this on these guys. You, I would like you to smite evil on this one. You, I want to cast battle spirit. And you just keep doing your thing, bro. You just keep doing your thing. Go for that one. You won't survive me. Uh, where am I? Oh, I'm like right in the middle. That's not good. Oh no, I went down. Uh, can you lay on hands on me? That'd be nice. Oh no. 
There we go. What? This. Okay. In Attack. Uh, let me check out what these cultists had. The scroll of Ray of Sickening. Nice, nice. Cause fear. The scythes are all good. That's okay. Alright. Uh, I'm gonna check out what this wizard had, too. Or, wait. Oh, did I check him out already? Oh. Oh, I didn't. Inflict light wounds. Okay. Cool. Alrighty. Ability 14. Oh, this is so sad. Look at this place. Oh, what are we doing? This is most certainly the Wardstone. As you step into the changer chamber, your vision seems to darken as your knees buckle. You struggle to keep your balance. The air in here is laden with the power coming from the stone. Suddenly your head is filled with voices, screaming, whispering, cackling, threatening voices, pleading for help, shrieking curses and taunts. You blink, and the illusion passes. Oh, sir. Congratulations. You made it all the way here. And this is it. Your precious sword. Yeah, called that one. Well, what are you planning to do now? Hmm? I could kill you where you stand. But wouldn't it be nice if you could die in battle like him? around like rats in the blighted ruins of your city blind and broken your flesh scabbed and seeping and every moment knowing precisely what was done to you Alrighty. sounds terrifying except that's how we've been living for generations <laughs> you can't hurt me i've already i've already have trauma Can't believe she called, uh, I know, but a useless. She straight up just called the inheritor useless. That's some shit. So you have a choice, especially you, my pet. Kiss me on my dainty hoof, pledge your loyalty to Baphomet, and when the world falls, its ruin shall be yours. Uh, hey, who are you? No, I wanted to know more about you, or whatever. To die for. Boo, 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 boo. And it was such a charming little place until you sullied it with your presence. It had such lovely boulevards, quiet and shaded. You took those away from me, and I shan't forgive you for that. I shan't. She shan't. They've done much worse things than spoil the promenade. All the people they've killed. Yeah. Yes, yes, of course, you're right. I grieve for the common folk as well. <laughs> She's clearly an, art, an artiste. She's like, people are great, but did you see the, the beautiful the beautiful architecture? The city streets lined with medians and 
wonderful arborist uh, uh, creations. Beautiful. Uh, what are you doing to that stone? Oh, you feel righteous for your swell within you. How dare this demon besmirch the ground of this beautiful world with their hooves? A world created by the gods and cultivated by the mortals? And these cultists, how dare they betray all that is sacred in this world and join the forces of the foulest evil? Can they repent and redeem themselves? Or have they followed the path of evil, past the point of no return? The war stone seems to sense your thoughts. The chamber grows slightly brighter. What are you doing to the stone? Well, quite. What am I doing to it? Probably the same thing I did to many of your comrades. Sweetly and tenderly persuading it to abandon the mortals and join our side. Okay. Uh, oh, I can succumb to the rage. Nice. Uh, you feel a s sudden rush of wild rage. And it kind of, uh, it comes with feeling monstrous, unbridled, destructive power. It is like you felt in the shield maze when you were confronting it. Sava Melek? Sava Melek. Whatever. Um, but now it feels more fully fledged, more conscious. Shut your mouth, filthy scum. Make me. One of the sweetest spoils of war is gloating over your broken and humiliated enemy. And you want to deny me that pleasure? We will stop you, demon. Attack! They will break against our resolve. Oh. I need a potion. Do I have any potions? Oh, good idea. Okay. Uh, oh, I already smited with her poop. Okay. Uh, potion of blur. I want you to do spirit weapon enchantment. And you, uh, point blank shot. Doesn't he have another ability? I thought he could do, uh,. Can I do both? Oh, I've only got two, that's why. Make every strike count. Yeah, go right for her, I guess. Oh fuck. I'm all tired of playing around now. You want to know what will happen when I'm done with the ward stone? Here's a little demonstration. Oh, okay. Oh no. The, de the demon is whispers a spell and a wave of darkness sweeps through the chamber. Your companions wince in pain, but it is nothing compared to what you feel. Thousands of voices again burst into your mind, drowning, in, drowning you in their moans, screams, and sobs. Pain rocks through your skull. Your evil spells won't stop a righteous army. The roar voices blend into an unbearable wall of screaming. Your vision goes dark. Be careful, everyone. Oh shit, I am uh, not doing great. Could I, could I do this thing? God, I would have to get up there. Drink a potion, my dude. You also drink a potion. You also drink a potion. You also drink a potion. Oh. Wait, what happened? <laughs> what the heck's going on? I guess we'll... I guess we're gonna find out. Praise Iomade, you woke up. Healing your wounds was easy, but you were unconscious for so long, I was starting to worry we'd lost you. Uh, what happened? We couldn't stand up to the demoness. Her spells were too strong. We'll handle it somehow. You blacked out, but Staunton and I managed to get you here to the Defender's Heart. 
used to be a tavern, but now it's our headquarters. We're gathering our forces here, and we're preparing to strike back. Uh, I found a cultist dispatch in the dungeons. It seems they are holed up in the Tower of Estrad. Demons have been filling Canabras with their spies and infiltrators for a long time. Unfortunately, I don't have enough people to attack the place right now. At least not blindly. I'd be grateful if you snuck in there and scouted out the situation. But just scouting. Don't be a hero. But why not? Alright, what's the situation in the city? But not hopeless. We're constantly getting news, and new sources of resistance keep springing up in the districts where everyone seemed to be dead. The survivors are gathering here. You should see them. Their faces, their eyes burning with determination. The city is destroyed, but our resistance is not broken. We will keep fighting. Cool. Uh, what do you plan to do next? You heard what the demon said. They're going to desecrate the ward stone and blow up the whole barrier around the world wound. That would be an even worse disaster than the world wound's expansion before the second crusade. Not only Canabras, but every city with the ward stone will be destroyed, including the capital. We can't allow that no matter what. We will retake it, even destroy it if we must. Iomade's gift must not become a weapon of the abyss. Uh, yeah, I hear you. Uh, tell me about the Wardstone. Why is so, I think I learned this already, but... The Wardstones are a gift of Iomade. Created personally by her herald, a mighty angel, and a general of the Celestial Armies. The Wardstones keep the world wound from expanding. They stand along the border of the territory controlled by the demons, creating a barrier to keep them inside. The Canabras Obelisk was the first to be placed. It is the key to the whole barrier. We cannot leave it in the hands of those monsters from the abyss. Uh, can I help you in any in any way? First of all, we need to decide what to do with the stone once we get it. What I'm about to say is classified. A traveler came to the city recently. A <gasps> blind elf calling oh. himself the Storyteller. Oh. He insisted he be allowed to examine the ward stone. demon attack he had found some damage or flaw in the stone oh man i think this is the guy from kingmaker <laughs> prelate Hulrun dismissed his words as nonsense borderline blasphemy but between you and me the prelate's opinion isn't worth much i think the storyteller knew what he was talking about we could use his advice right now if only we knew where he was i remember the storyteller spent a lot of time talking to staunton a dwarf from my unit. You saw him during the demon attack. The elf asked him about the history of the Crusades. Maybe the storyteller told Staunton something about where we could find him if anything happened. Mm -hmm. There's another problem. After the attack, the demons began to gather their forces at the Grey Garrison. It'll be even harder to take them with a head on assault. But I once heard soldiers talking about a secret entrance to the garrison. The trouble is, I have no idea what to look for it. While you explore the city, please keep your eyes open. In case you find something we can use. Yeah, sure thing. And one last thing. The Eagle Watch has lost a lot of soldiers recently. Some were killed, but others simply haven't been seen since the attack. In the chaos that is now Canabras, it's next to impossible to confirm anything for sure. One of the missing fighters is Janna Aldori, a new recruit oh. in the Watch. She got along well with Sila, and she often went drinking with her. I honestly thought Sila and Janna had died together. But now Sila's returned with you, and there's no sign of Janna. If you learn anything of her whereabouts when you're out in the city, please report back. Yeah, yeah, sure thing. May the goddess help you. We're still fighting, which means that Canabra still hasn't fallen. If you come across any groups in the city that can fight, send them here to the Defender's Heart. We'll need every fighter we can muster for the final assault. Cool. Yeah, let's do it. Yes, one more thing. If you're in the area, check out this address. It's our house. Mine and Anevia's. Well, it was.
was our house. If the building is still standing, open the hidden compartment in the kitchen. It's filled with supplies for a rainy day. You can take whatever you find. You have more needed. Alrighty. Okay. Um, there's my personal chests. Is that all of my things? Oh, look at this. Some boots. Some boots of... Oh, nice. These boots grant the wear plus two confidence bonus on saving throws against movement impairing conditions. This is silver-tongued amulet. Plus two confidence bonus on persuasion skill checks. And a head chopper. Summons a pet owlcat. Owlcat's feral instincts provide plus two morale bonus on perception and lower nature checks. Very cool. Um... Oh, oh, it's Anivia. Hey, wait. Mind if I bend your ear about something? Anivia is outside your door, leaning casually against the shelf, as she does. Oh, look. That's what she's doing right there. That's how she's leaning. So here's the first and most important thing. Beth gave you a crucial mission. I get that. And I knew you'll get the job done. I saw you, I saw you in action. But here's the rub. By sending you out, out on an errand, we're weakening our defenses here. If they come at us while you're gone, I don't know if we'll be able to fight them off. Okay, well, I didn't do too much, to be completely honest, but... Uh... Do you want me to stay here and guard the tavern? Uh, everything se seems clear so far. What else do you wish to discuss? So the ri so the rift that damn beetle left with its scythe? Yeah, well, it cut, it cut the city in two, and it's kind of difficult to get across. My scouts tell me that there's a halfway decent place to set up a crossing in Market Square. Not that any of them tried to make it, tried to make it sure. But it, but if you've got mine to go across, I think you're going to have to eventually. I think you're going to have to eventually. You might want to give, give the square once over. Uh, do you want me to stay here and guard the tavern? You? What? No. Your task is far too important. You you can't just hole up here all cozy like waiting for the demons to knock on your door. We need to take the fight to them. But if, this, but if those freaks try to make a move on this place, Beth will send a runner to get you. If that happens, you like it back there, right? Because if you don't, you'll be come back, coming back to an ash pile. Got it? When do you think the demons will attack next? Your guess is as good as mine. It might not be here. They could attack, they could attack the whole damn city. Those vermin uh, know they've lost the upper hand, and we're, and we're going to push back hard. If things kick off here, you should know. You should know. After they attack, some things could, could could be changed beyond recognition. So if you've got any business that need taken care of, you better do it soon. Cool. Later. There's Stout in Vain. There's Camellia. There's another Crusader. Crusader, Crusader. Um, I learned that there is someone that can let me... Uh, Edgewatch Crusader, Crusader. There's someone in here that can actually let me respect my entire character, which is kind of what I'm hoping to do right now. Um, I wonder who it is. Let's go talk to Stalton. Dwarf resembles an aban uh, the, the dwarf resembles an abandoned citadel, one whose high crumbling walls are still holding fast, but whose empty lightless windows make it clear make it clear that all in all inside is dead. Man, what the fuck? Why's everyone so mean to this dude? Oh, it's you. Good. Get back. Good work back there in the great garrison. Name Stoughton Vane. If you've heard rumors about me, his face his face which looks like it has never known anything as carefree as a smile grimaces. Just so you know. Everything people say about me, it's true. I need to talk to the elf who calls himself the Storyteller. Do you know where I can find him? Storyteller? Hmm. Sultan strokes his beard and thought. A strange fellow, that one. He used to sit with me for hours, asking all sorts of things. He never offered judgment or comfort, he just listened. At first, I wanted, him, I, I wanted him and his questions as far away from me as possible. But later, I realized that talking to him did ease my burden a little. I hope he is alive and well. He's completely blind and feeble, too. So if he's alone in the city, well, you probably know what that means. I do know one place he might be. Look for him in the Black Wing. It's a library. Here, I'll show you where it is on the map. I don't know what use the library is to a blind elf, but he loved the place. He would sit there all day and night. What do people say about you? They say I'm a traitor. 
as bad as a Rilu Vorlish. Uh, Rilu Vorlish. Oh my gosh. Hardly any name arouses, uh, arouses so much rage among Crusaders as the name of a Rilu Vorlish, a Sarkorian witch who initiated the opening of the world wound and then made it expand. Oh, she's the world wound person. person. A time of disgrace, even among the ranks of the condemned. Condemned is a military unit made up of petty criminals conscripted as the disposable soldiers and fr frontline fodder in the Mendivian Crusades. Okay. The Queen Galfrey should never have spared me. Uh, absolute monarch crusader of the state of Mendiv and leader of the Mendivian Crusades. Uh, the I belong in the gallows. Why, why do they hate you so much? You really don't know. Sun gives a long, morose look and sighs. I'm the reason why the crusade forces are holed up in the fortress on the edge of the whirlwind instead of bringing the fight to the demons. We used to have a foothold in the wound, the mighty, unsaleable city of Dresden. We used to have it, until it fell, and all because of my stupidity. I gave the enemy our main citadel. I was tried, they wanted to execute me, rightly so, but the queen intervened. She said I should live and fight in order to undo what has done, what I had done. So that's how I live, decade after decade, fighting in the condemned. <sighs> As you can see, I have fixed nothing. And I have earned no one's forgiveness. They're going to spit in my face too. It wouldn't surprise me. Um, I, I could spit in his face. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> uh. Oh, I hope you earn your forgiveness. You keep living and fighting with no hope of anything getting better because of, because of what the queen's order or ordered you to do. There's honor in that. There kind of is. She gave you a second chance, you know. And now you're and now you're you're doing the right thing that you were ordained to do by the queen herself. So, seems like a pretty good deal. Maybe I do want to go lawful. It may be right, but you know, even stone and iron get worn down over time. I know what it means to have a, a regimented life. Regimented life, but I cannot rely on my discipline alone forever. I pray to Doric, though he does not listen, that my body breaks before my conscience does. A whole city fell, fell because of you? How's it possible? That's actually my question. I was kind of curious about that. What do you mean, how? Knight glares at you from beneath his fur over house. If you don't trust the word of the condemned, go ask somebody else. Like my little brother Joran. And if you still don't believe me... And if you still don't believe it, what's it to me? But if you're about to ask me to recount the story of my disgrace for the thousandth time, don't. You really don't have any friend. I'll be your friend. I'll be your friend, Stoughton. I couldn't have survived this long if I was completely alone. Jorin, my bro my little brother, he keeps me going. He's never abandoned me. Everyone else shies away from me like they might catch what I've got. Even fighters in the condemned console themselves by thinking. I got stripped of my rank, but at least I'm not Stalton. Commander Tirabay seems to be the only person in the whole army who's remembered I'm not a sol remembers that I'm a soldier and not a drudge. There's no qualms about me ta about ta me take about taking me into battle. She's had she's had some mud flung at her in the past, or so I hear. So I she tries to keep an open mind about people. It's no surprise that she's the only one to hold on to her sense of reason in this face. So many years in the condemned, surely you paid your penance by now. That's not up to me to decide. My life is in the Queen's hands. He falls silent for, silent for a moment, and then in a trembling voice he adds, Condemned isn't the worst part. All these years I've prayed to Torek for forgiveness. Countless times I've gone to his priest. Countless times I've kneeled before his altar. If only the father of Dorvin Kine answered my prayers just once. Not to restore what I've lost, but just to tell me that I'm still one of his children. But it seems he doesn't give a damn about me. What can I expect from mere mortals when my own god doesn't think I deserved redemption? This, uh, this kind of reminds me of the uh, dwarf from Kingmaker. There was a dwarf from Kingmaker. I don't remember his name. But uh, he was, like, terrible at crafting stuff, which is, like, if you're not good at crafting things as a dwarf, it's, like, not great. Um, and so he ended up uh, he ended up following Grotus because of it. He was just like, you know what, I'm going to be a Grotus worshiper. Um, so this guy has a, bit, is, has, has a bit better head on his shoulders than that guy, but still kind of feels the same. Go on, then. Maybe we'll see each other again. All right, um, God, there's a lot of people here. I really, really want to find this one particular dude. Is it that guy? I'll talk to everyone else, but I need to... Show me the scrolls you're selling. 
Uh, oh yeah, let me sell all my junk. Oh yeah, that's some good stuff. Uh, sell the weapons, ever burning torch I'll keep. Sell this, sell that, sell all of these. Oh yeah. Woo! No, all of them. Yeah, yeah, move them all. Masterwork greatsword. Heavy crossbows, yeah, yeah. Heavy mace, this is a quarter staff? Okay. Cold iron masterwork javelin? Oh, I kind of like that actually. Sickle, masterwork, fuck, god, all of this stuff is good. The flails, the long sword, the war hammer, both long spears, oh yeah. Money, money, money. Cold Iron Masterwork Dueling Sword. I think... I think I'm going to hold on to that only because it's Cold Iron, which is good against demons, but... Battle Axes, Heavy Flail, the Marching Terror. Oh my god, yes. Okay, that's a good one. Uh, I think I will sell that, but... <laughs> Masterwork Great Club. Well, I have a bunch of money now. Goodness gracious. Bunch of brass plates. This thing. Gonna hold on to those. Gonna... Oh, I can sort. Okay. Cool. Uh, I feel like I can learn a lot of this. Maybe. Maybe. I mean, scroll of inflict light wounds is a lot. It's a lot of stuff. Definitely gonna hold on to that. And I'll hold on to these as well. Okay. Uh, you have quite a number of scrolls, too, don't you? I might come back for you. Deal. Alright. Well, he's not the right guy, but... Uh, is it one of these guys? <laughs> Dude's name is Pink Guy. There's Sela, there's Erebeth. Cadaver's Crusader. See, these are all the Crusaders. Is it the Eagle Watch Crusader? No? I know it's like one of these guys. Journal. Who's that? How do I get to him? Oh, <laughs> there's a door. I didn't even see it. A young man in well-worn well traveling clothes and a simple wooden symbol of a rastal on his chest is efficiently cutting a linen robe into strips to use as bandages. Despite, despite his visible exhaustion, he works with zeal, singing from the tune about red braids and ripe sheaves under his under wheat of his breath. He raises his warm, chestnut-colored eyes to you. Are you one of the Crusaders? Thank you for defending those. Those of us talents lie off the battlefield. I'm Jernal, servant of Arasto. Pleased to meet you. Uh, what are you doing here? I only took my holy orders recently, so my god has bestowed a little of his power upon me as as yet. I'm sorry to say the number of wounded fighters in this tavern is far beyond my power to heal, but there's reason people say have faith in the gods, but look to yourself first. I may not be able to help wounded with magic, but I can at least cup up, cut up bandages. Gotcha. Okay, so he's just doing that kind of stuff. Uh, Rastal knows I'd be glad to help you, but it's no use. My spells are depleted, and I have no train and I have no training in potions of scrolls. See this robe I'm, robe I'm cutting up for bandages? It's the second to last one. Uh, all right, well, it was a pleasure to meet you. It's a pity we can't stop to talk over a cup of tea, or maybe something stronger. But this isn't the time. Do you know what's funny? I was only supposed to be making a short short stop to Canabras. I was sailing down, sailing down Old Man Selin on a boat bound for a small village by the name of Chili Creek. Once we held, once we held Canabras, once we've held Canabras, I'll be going there. By the grace of the good gods, we'll survive all. We'll survive this. You should come and visit me sometime. You'll find the village here on the bank of the river. Okay. Well, that's that. Noble survivor, Edgewatch Crusader. Uh, like I said, I'm pretty sure one of these guys. Oh, there's Lon. Let's go talk to Pink Eye and whoever this is. An imposing orid is surrounded by a crowd of crusaders who are hanging on the very edge of the world. 
I hope this example clearly illustrates the difference between just. I hope this example clearly illustrates the difference between Jiska Legionnaires from the Last War and the, and the Crusaders. The perfection of form and spirit they were imbued with during creation, during creation turned them into parts of a well-balanced war machine. That ragtag bunch of individuals, but a united whole. Now tell me again, why am I supposed to be impressed by a reckless assault when everyone is fighting for, fighting for their ego and for the right to bear, beat their peers to a swift but pointless heroic sacrifice? Some of the Crusaders grumble unhappily, but it's clear that they are captivated by the woman's words. The only exception is, is, is a scraggly, disheveled, halfling monk whose puffy black eye gives him away as a brawler and a troublemaker. He enthusiastically pushes forward and tries to engage. One of his friends swiftly, swiftly jabs him back, back with an elbow, making the poor fellow pause to catch his breath. I'll listen. Quietly listen to the discussion. Canavis, Canavis Crusader. One of the Crusaders angrily curls his fist and tightly retorts with a burst of passion. If those jest of yours or whatever had come for us, we'd have we'd have their guts for garters. You think we've never fought a mighty adversary before? A soldier's stern, fa stern facade cannot fully conceal his relish. He clearly plans to enjoy this confrontation. The Crusaders, uh, the Crusaders around him look upon their exotic opponent with a mixture of irritation and piqued interest. The woman chuckles before cutting off her Inter, inter, interlocutor. I'm probably pronouncing that one wrong. I would love to. I would love to see you storm a sixty-foot-tall walking castle shaped like a gigantic elephant that carries seed fortifications on its back. I'll have you know these fortifications were defended by just can priest craftsmen armed with demon-bound war machines. They use the enemies you cannot defeat as a mindless weapon. The woman gives the people around her a triumphant look and adjusts her hair with pointless nonchalance. Her voice takes on a lecturer's tone. You should not argue with someone who happens to be the most authoritative researcher on the history of warfare, 3,000 years before the foundation of Absalom. The woman looks at you and flashes an amused smile. The lecture is over. Did my esteemed listeners have any questions? I could just straight up hit her. <laughs> Here are you. I'm Indara, a warrior, magus, and scholar of classical warfare from Garand. The woman peers at you apprehensively in the size. I admit that I'm mildly offended by the fact my name is not entirely unfamiliar to you, but I'm willing to accept this due to Avastan's isolation from the sophisticated culture of the world at large. Yeah, you've come a long way to be here. I like to think of myself as an inhabitant of Galarian. I don't know narrowly. I, I don't narrowly identify with any country in particular. Why did you come here? To witness a legendary war, the confrontation, the confrontation between denizens of a plain famous for its love of violence and the crusaders from every continent, united by the common goal for defending their home, an epic, strug an epic struggle of colossal proportions. That hasn't, that hasn't been particularly epic so far, truth be told. The monk with a black eye grins and mutters under his breath. Maybe she just hasn't seen it from here. If you, if you get way more epic if she stops hiding among us and takes a walk outside. The woman smirks contempt contemptuously. She does not deem the monk's words worthy of comment. <laughs> Looks like you know about warfare than any of us. Uh, <laughs> I can say I don't comment on that. It's great. The Crusaders are doing a commendable job at resisting the demons. Oh yes, the situation we found, our, found ourselves in can, can attest to that. But then again, demons are no better. Their preferred strategy often involves brute strength, mindless assault, and unfounded confidence in their superiority. Why don't you join the Crusaders and show them how show them how fighting should be done? <laughs> I can straight up just like school her. Hmm, no, I'm a historian, an analyst, a theorist. Do you know what these three words have in common? They describe a mortal woman who does not participate in the conflict which her thesis will be founded. But then again, I will hardly be able to describe this mess as anything other than feeble likeness of the last war of Jistka. Monk with a damage eye grins slightly in the comments. The more dangerous the upcoming scuffle is, the more motivated we are to find clever and pretty words to justify not actually doing the fighting. Uh, what was the last war you mentioned? The War of Jiska, of course. A large-scale conflict that took place 3,000 years before the foundation of Absalom. It was a war against the Assyrian pharaoh and forgo of forgotten plagues. The war ended the legendary Jiska Imperium, an epic struggle that became the most vibrant page of military history. Alas, the conflicts that followed it were but a pale shadow, including the one I'm, I'm witnessing here. 
Why did you find the last word of Jiska so inspiring? Imagine legions of golems imbued with extra planet spirits marching into battle. Imagine flying cities that swoop out of the clouds like terrifying monstrous birds of prey to drop forces on top of enemy castles. Picture gigantic mechanisms powered by captive and very angry demons and devils. Imagine standing in the warpath of walking citadels, or have to cover your ears to block out the sound of cannons loaded with shrieking elementals. That does sound pretty badass, actually. I'll give her that. Finally, imagine the ultimate weapon that defeated Jessica, the deadly Night Plague. This affliction was an attack dog, a trained epidemic, a tamed pestilence, striking only those who its master wanted to kill. Imagine all these terrors and understand that no fight of fancy can even come close to the horror of nightmares that, that they made real. Uh, how do you know so much about Jessica's Last War? I can say without false modesty, there is no more authoritative research on Galarian when it comes to the history of warfare 3,000 years before the foundation of Absalom, dedicating my whole life to the subject. I personally witnessed old, old battlefields, visited old battlefields, and studied the most mysterious and forbidden archives containing chronicles of ancient wars, sometimes risking my life in the process. I saw the fallen sky city on the Shori, Shori Empire with my own eyes, I ripped out the control crystal from an exterminator-class combat golem that guarded Jiska, that gar guarded a Jiska laboratory with my own hands. These fingers held the glass flask that the servants of the pharaoh of forgotten plagues used to create the first generation of pestilence that devastated the Jiska Imperium. How do I know so much? I saw and touched everything I'm telling you about. Uh, you're wrong to treat the Crusaders with such disdain. Allow me to explain. A debate? I'll be happy to prove your current conflict can't hold a candle to the Last War of Jiska. Very well. The Last War of Jiska was waves using significantly greater number of troops. Both sides actively relied on reinforcements from allied planes, and their strategic planning was perfected through no fewer than seven rounds of intensive design. None of the above applies to this war of yours. Compared to Jiska, we are but stone-clubbing stone kobold, stone-club-wielding kobolds. I would like to conclude that my thesis with a few words from the Wives' Council of Dagon, an advisor of the Pharaoh of Forgotten Plagues. I doubt you will comprehend the true genius of his statement, but here it is nevertheless. A gadfly, a gadfly sees the ox. The ox pays no heed to the gadfly, but crimson fever takes them both. Uh, I'm pretty good at both of these, but I'm much better at this. The prince... The principles of war are always the same. Weapons, causes, and resources may change, but the foundations remain immutable. Idarazara's display frustration as she hears the audience, clearly impressed by your argument, murmuring approval. There is logic in your words, I give you that. Yes, the concept of war does not change, but the degree of sophistication in the methods that we use to destroy our foes... The woman stops realizing her words, no matter how ostentatious she makes them no longer have the power to captivate the audience. I dare offers a pretentious dismissal. As a scholar, I cannot deny that there is a certain truth behind your skeptical statements. History is a complex discipline rooted in fact, an evidentiary base that grows ever more meager the farther, and the, farther the described period is, is from the present moment. Of course, if I were to argue in bad faith, the way crusaders embellish their tales of slaying a single Brimorat by adding a dozen Baylors, for example, I would win this debate, but I am above such things, and therefore I am forced to admit that your skepticism is not entirely without merit. Have you changed your mind about joining the Crusaders? I don't see the point. Your Crusaders appear to be quite confident in your skills. If nothing else, you've presented your arguments to me with extreme confidence. This is a worthy blade. Wait, what? I received an item? It will be of use not only for the strong, but also for the wise. And this is where I bid you farewell. Before the end of the day, I was planning to observe how winged demons use pack tactics to drive their prey like herds of livestock. But it's about time I get back to my research. A hint of, a hint of a smile graces Indara's lips when she sees disappointment in, in the eyes of many crusaders around her. Stay safe. Did she just... She just disappears. <laughs> Alright. Um... There's Sela. Like I said, I really thought there'd be somebody here that can help me help me change. No. Maybe not. Uh. Hmm. 
let me maybe Sela. I don't think Sela can do it. Um, no. Okay. Well, while Sela's cool with me, I'm gonna Google. Wrath of the Righteous Respec. Um, oh, how to respec in Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous. <clears throat> oh, before you begin the campaign, make sure you have selected Enable Character Retrain. Uh oh. Oh no. Do I not have that? Difficulty. Enable character retrain. Oh, I do. Okay. Well, a certain PC NPC in the game to retrain your character changes. Oh, okay. Uh, right. Well, I guess I do have that. Uh, doing so will allow you to reset your make changes to your character later on in the game. Uh, after you complete the first few missions and end the fight against uh, Minago. Uh, you find yourself in Defender's Rest, the main hub where the, the main hub where you can talk to the other NPCs. Open your map and look for Helor. You'll find him in the left corner of the map. Helor. Helor. I like how they're like, oh yeah, the top of left. And it's like, um, well, there's like a lot of people here. Oh, Healer, there he is. A tall athletic man greets you. His hair prematurely gray and shorn to shorn close to his head in a military style. Uh, he is lean and well-groomed and a monocle twinkles coldly. Coldly in his eye. Okay. The bold set of his jaw and large but agile frame attest that, that here is a man who is always ready to be on the move. Greetings. I am Helor, Venture Captain of the Pathfinder Society. I am a superior officer among Pathfinders in this region of Mendiv. However, the Society is running almost no operations here right now. Besides me, there is almost no Pathfinders here. Actually, I'm only stuck here because of the old few with the Demon Worshipper known as the Spinner of Nightmares. I, I have to work alone without the support of the Society, but I made quite a lot of acquaintances among the local mercenaries and daring fighters. If you need any good fighters for an honest goals, talk to me. Uh, my companions and I are in need of, or in, and I need good training. I will get a great, I will get a great mentor from Absalom. For the first few times, he'll train you. He'll train your fighters free of charge. Uh, retrain myself. Oh, I hit accept. Did it work? Hey, there we go. Okay, so I realized that what ended up happening, uh, can I change his name? Oh, please tell me I can change his name. I actually don't know what, 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 uh, what, uh, which one I want to use. I guess I could just go with that, but it's like I know worried. It's either that or well, I, I'll be changing the portrait anyway, so that's fine. Um, class, though. So I realized <laughs> that uh, I believe that it's only the Grenadier that ends up getting precise bomb. I don't think that I can get that as my wizard. So it's kind of like, well, all right. Um, so there's really no way that I can get that. I believe so. Yeah, that's that's such a, yeah. I, 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 I picked a bad class just for that reason. So let's go, let's go with a different class. Let's try something else. Um, I still like the idea of wizard. Um, 
but maybe there's something else I can do. I can just go straight wizard. I mean, sure. Oh man, or do I want to go Hell Knight? I did Ranger and Kingmaker. And I don't want to spend too long on this. I will be changing his name, by the way, so don't worry about that. There's a lot of Paladins here, so I don't think Paladin is going to be a thing. Kineticists are fun, too. What are Kineticists? Aren't Kineticists like a uh, Kinetic Knight? What is this? Well, that's badass. Kinetic Knight dons armor and wields blades of elemental energy. Excuse me? That sounds awesome. Kinetic Knights are rare in the Inner Sea region, but not unknown. Many realize their elemental powers while, while, training, while training for battle. That sounds freaking cool. Huh. Uh, yeah. That one sounds really neat. So, this just does, like, energy blast, infusions to modify the blast, and then burns. Um. Magus is fun, too. Oh, man. That one's really fun, though. I can do Arcanist. Phantasmal Mage, White Mage, Unlighted Arcanist. Brown for a Transmuter. Forgot about that one. Frequently called Brown for These Transmuter-focused fo Arcanists are known for transforming themselves into animals. Uh, I might just go straight Wizard. I really might. I go Tiefling or a Dampire. I can do it. I can do a Dampire. Or maybe I'll keep that. Uh, which one was. Was it Emberkin? Yeah. So I did Emberkin. Um, oh, I don't remember which one I did. I didn't do regional one. What did this one give me? Yeah, that's right. Uh, so all that it gives me adds use magic device and knowledge arcana to the list of her class skills. Okay. I mean, I already have knowledge arcana, so... Harassment and stuff, yeah. Yeah, I'll just do that. It's not like a huge, huge thing anyway. Um, I got a lot of these. Take some away from Charisma. Put all of it into Intelligence. Oh my god, I could just give myself a 20 Intelligence. Uh, 14, 14, yep, actually I'll take that down, put my wisdom up, yeah, there we go, good enough for me, all the knowledges, because of course, oh, I'll take out nature, because I don't actually need that, and I would like to use magic device, okay. Um, I get... What level am I? I'm still level one. Oh, jeez, okay. Uh, spell focus. I'm kind of all about evocation. 
Yeah. Uh, wizard bonus feat. Greater spell focus. Oh, wow. Could I just take that? Bonus attack with regular spell focus. Okay. Um, or could I get... Could I get point blank shot? No. Spell penetration, not too useful quite yet, but I like that. Uh, all right. I'll take point blank shot here and then take spell focus evocation here. I need to choose my school, which I will be doing evocation. Uh, my arcane bond. Oh, that's right. I can have one of these. I'll just do an object. Uh, opposition school. Necromancy. Don't need. Divination. Don't need. Uh, nah. Here's here's all my here's all my good spells. How many do I get? Uh, oh, eight. Oh my god, I get to choose eight spells. I'm so smart. Uh, burning Hands, Ear Piercing Scream. Flame Burst is pretty good. Centered on a target point within close range. Cool. Uh, yep. Shock and Grasp, also good. Enlarged Person, fantastic. Mage Armor for myself. Uh, I think. Oh, Sleep's really good, too. Protection from alignment, I feel like it's just a solid one. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Camille gets that too, though, so maybe not. She gets that. I get that. Okay. Maybe I'll do a bit of do a bit of summon monster as well. Just cause. Um. I think I'll stay worshipping Saren Ray. It's kind of like that. Oh, I have to be one of these? No. Oh. And just for good, it's fine. Uh, man, I just really wish there was like a... Wait, can't I... Can I change my gender? Oh no. Yeah. There we go. Make him as similar as possible. Was that number two I went with? Yeah. No scars. I'll give him slightly golden skin. Turn that off. <laughs> that hairstyle though. Yeah, a little ponytail. Didn't I have like a fancy? Yeah, that one. Yeah, that's, that's the one I had. Yep, sounds good to me. Cool. I'll take care of it. And I did. The path is clear. Yeah, I did reserved. Cool, cool. The Zyg oh no. His name was Pickles. Two exclamation points. Uh the ninth of uh yeah, ninth of er uh, Eridus. I think that's what it was last time, or something close to it. There, right, here we go. Pick counts on me. Pickles the wizard. There we go. Oh, yeah, I get force missile. Just because. Dope. Oh, so I did level up. Okay. Character Pickles has prepared the spell Raise Dead. Did I? <laughs> Did I prepare Raise Dead? It requires material component diamond, which you don't possess. Oh, okay. Well, I didn't actually want to prepare that, but that's fine. Uh, still pretty much the same things. Uh, oh, I got one more. Look at that. Uh, I think I'll do Perception as well. More spells. Uh, get to choose two more. Hurricane Bow, that one's specific. Um, 
You know, do snowball, stunning barrier. Nice. All right, now I just have a shit ton of spells. Hell yeah. Oh man, look at all these scrolls that I have. Oh man, what scrolls do I want to use? Cause fear, pretty good. Scroll of bless, endurance. Ray of sickening, sure, why not? Uh, magic missiles, good. I also have a million of these. Let's call it inflict serious wounds. Why not? Uh, oh, I will do that. And isn't there? Yeah, these dancer boots. There we go. Um. Oh yeah, I'll equip my little, my little head chomper. Um, oh, fire belly is a fun spell. Protection from law. I don't need that. Remove paralysis. Remove sickness. Cause fear. Yeah, summon monster. Sure. Uh, shield of faith. Also pretty good too. Neat. Why do we have such a heavy load? Why? Oh, I think it's just me. Yeah, okay, that's just me. Alright. Fair enough. <sighs> Alright, well, first things first. We gotta do some stuff. Um, Day of the City. I need to go find a special festival drink, I guess. Uh, errands. There should be a way to get across the rift. Companion quest. A friend in need is a friend indeed. Your Beth wants to appreciate information about her. Okay, yeah. Um, maybe go talk to these people. Guess there's one thing about these games is that there's a lot. There's a lot of people to talk to. Here for a chat. I've been waiting for someone to come see what strange beast you've taken into your party. I'd like to know more about you. Let me guess, your first question is, can you wear a hat with, 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 with your one horn? Am I right? You speak common much better than the rest of your tribe. <laughs> Funnily enough, common isn't all, that, isn't all that common underground. But your observation is correct. I used to live on the surface, surface with my parents for a while, and I had a chance to learn a couple things. The language and the fact that every peasant who sees my scaly smug screams, Demon! and runs away. Well, that's kind of that's depressing. I don't know if you're interested. My mom, but my mom wasn't wasn't from an underground tribe. She was a smuggler, the kind that used dungeons. They used the dungeons of Canabras to secretly move and store goods. One time, two gangs couldn't agree on how to share a prime cut. Got into a fight, and the winners threw the losers down a hole, dead and living alike. My dad went to check if the corpses had anything useful on them, and he found a girl from the surface, barely clinging to life. An, inc an incredible feeling sparked between them, or maybe the girl just liked men with scales and a cat nose. That might be it. One way or another, he got her back on her feet and later even left his home caves. She left her smuggling behind and became and began an honest life together. That's a delightful story of how Lamb came into this world. The next chapter, however, my family and I never stayed in one place for long. We lived sometimes on the surface, sometimes underground. We couldn't find a place to call home. Living in the caves was hard on my mom, and my dad's appearance raised too many questions to mend of. They're at war against the demons, after all. In the end, my parents decided to stop making each other miserable and separated. My father and I returned to our tribe. My father and I returned to our tribe. I think the peasant screaming demon had something to do with it. Or maybe dad just couldn't stand life without without rat tail soup. I, I would roll out the possibility. Did you come with me so you could see the surface again? I... No, that wasn't it. I just don't have much patience for certain types of creatures. Demons, I mean. If they want to destroy Canabras, I'll be on the side of the people they're attacking. Uh... Lan, you're my companion, and companions should trust each other. I'm counting on you to be honest. To, to give me honest, honest, honest answers, not excuses. <laughs> I can, you're my subordinate, is the evil option. Uh, yeah. Lan looks ashamed. 
I guess you're right. I shouldn't have been so evasive. There's just some things are hard to talk about. My family, for example. My birth, I'll take it, turn, turned out to be a great misfortune for my parents, all because I'm relatively healthy, and the best thing that can come from a marriage between a cave-dwelling mongrel and anyone from the surface. A healthy child with the right number of hands and feet, no apparent defects, no missing organs or other problems. They saw hope in me, so risked, so risked having more children. They thought it would somehow be all right. A growl edges in Lan's voice. I could have had four brothers. The first were born two. The first were born two years after me and died three years later. He didn't have a nose, nothing even remotely resembling one. He could only breathe through his mouth. Mom and Dad were afraid to take their eyes off him for fear he'd choke and suffocate on something. But at the end, it was his weak heart that killed him. Oh. It was another pregnancy and birth. I pretended I was sleeping, but snuck out of my bedroom and listened under the door. All those hours, it was very strange. I never heard a newborn screaming. My moaning. Mom moaning, yes. The priest saying, the priest praying. And then I dared to open the door a little and looked inside. The priest stood there very pale. One of them was holding something, a small object that fit in his palm. He asked, do you know what this is? And the other said, I think it's a head. Oh my God, that's horrible. Oh no. <laughs> Ugh, enough, but you don't have to keep going if I hurt you. Hell no. I've started to tell you I'll make it to the end. <laughs> you want to know why I followed you to the surface? Well, here's the reason. Lam pauses, exhales, and continues in a steadier voice. It turned out that this time Mom was expecting triplets. The first, of the, the first of the babies was born in pieces. The other two didn't live long enough to draw their first breath. And three weeks later, my father took me to the caves. He didn't want, he didn't want to leave, but I could see it in his face. But I think my mom and he decided it together. The curse my people have carried since the first crusade stood between them. Not to mention the four dead babies. An old age was rapidly, rapidly taking its toll on my father. After he returned to the cave, he only lived another four years. I was everybody asking why I decided to go up with you to the surface to join the Crusaders? Well, the answer is, I've always wanted to. I was afraid to leave my tribe. But it always haunted me that I die in a world where, where four Crusades... Where four Crusades could, could do nothing to stop the beast from the abyss. And the number of victims kept growing. I want to change that. Or at least try to. And if changing things is too much to ask, then at least get a then at least get a little revenge. The ones who are behind the world wound owe me a great debt. The lives of four brothers and all of my other mother's tears. My father's broken heart. It's a lot. It's so much killing a couple of demons won't do it for me. I want to do something real, and I'm ready to pay any price. Call it per call it my personal crusade if you like. He gives a slanted grin. I used to think that things would be better if I be if I'd never been born. But now I think I was born for this. To settle the score. Uh, why didn't you grow up and join the Crusaders before? I just couldn't abandon my tribe. I'm their best hunter. They'll have to. They'll have it much harder without me. But now that the demons have nearly destroyed Canavras and the caves almost collapsed on our heads, sitting in, sitting and waiting, at, waiting out just isn't an option anymore. Any, anyway, I'm more useful up here than I am down there. Plus, the chief let me go, which means my debt to the tribe has been paid. Do you want to find your mama? You want to go find your mommy? No. The word flies from Lance's mouth faster than an arrow. Then after a pause, he continues. I don't want to meet her, not because I feel any resentment. It's just she's a half-elf. She's barely got... She, she's barely got her first gray hair. And I'll be a ramshackled old man. She's... She's buried enough children. There's no need to make her witness the death of another one. I hope you understand. I'm very... I'm very sorry, truly. Uh, your parents didn't... Your parents' love didn't survive hardship, but that, but that doesn't mean the same thing will happen to you. What if you find true love? Someone someone who won't leave you no matter what. Uh, I'm very sorry, truly. Well, then I'm very lucky. I met someone who not only helped me choose the right path, but is happy to listen to my listen to my whining. Your parents... Okay. And break my beloved's heart when I die in her arms five years later? That's a fine thing to do to the person you love. But again, there's a chance I'll inspire some tragic bard to write a, to write a tearful ballad. Thanks for sharing, Lon. Uh, thanks for listening. Mongrels have short lifespans, but you don't look like you're getting old or dying. How old are you? <laughs> I'm as old as I look. No surprises there. But remember Sol? He's ten years older than, I, than, than me. I remember him back when he was a fearless warrior. And day by day, I watched him turn into an old man. Him and my father. It happens very quickly. First, you miss a shot because you don't see the target as clearly as you do. You think it's because your eyes are tired. You tell yourself it'll get better tomorrow. Then you notice you're having trouble breathing and climbing is harder than before. 
Your fingers stop bending. You have to tie your sword with your hand. You have to tie your sword to your hand. You can't even put your greaves on without help. When you're washing your face in a stream, sometimes you get sight of a gray, gray, gray-haired, wrinkled old man you didn't recognize. And then this goes on until one day you come across a cave beast and realize you can't outrun it. My dad kept diaries, marking all the signs, and I saw it too. The last year I had to help him get out of bed, help him dress, remind him to eat. Sometimes he forgot my name. I told him that we should have stayed on the surface, and he joked about dodging a goddess. That dodging a goddess was behavior unworthy of a crusader. He meant for asthma. Oh, yeah, I gotcha. Um... Oh my god. So can you wear a hat with your one horn? Sure I can. But certain designs don't suit me well. <laughs> uh, god. I, I kind of want to just get going. Sure thing. Um, uh, very different from the ground. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, so long. Alright. Um, other than that. I know I can talk to Sela. I mean, I got stuff to do, so I'll just I'll just head on out. I think this is the part where I'll probably choose which party I take. Probably. Oh. Whoa. Oh, jeez. Okay. Oh, nice. Okay, so this is to the basement area exit. Area exit. Okay. Gotcha. A lot of survivors and stuff around here. What's in the basement? What's that? Hey, what was that? What did that do? It's an old map of Avastan. Okay. Oh, there's guards and stuff down here. Okay. Oh, hi there. Surrender thy soul, Delvin. I already protect us. <laughs> got you again. How many times is that today? Take your jokes and shove them, tiefling. Oh, easy there, chief. Don't hit me. Whoa, you chief. Hey, Dreambo, come over here. I want to talk to you about something. Something really important. Uh, and what exactly do you have to say there, my friend? Oh my, okay. What's it to you, Delvin Dum Dum? You were told to guard me, and I'm not stopping you. But no one told me I had to shut my trap. Ah, I see this guy is exuding confidence. Who are you? Wolgif. Wolgif Jepto. I deal in useful things. I can get you whatever you want. Anything. But there's just one problem. <laughs> yeah, he's kind of locked up. What do you want from me? I'll lay it out for you. Simple job, 30 minutes tops. We go to some place, talk to someone, and in return, whatever you want, I'll get it for you. Some extra rations, no problem. Armor, weapons, scrolls, you name it. It's as good as yours. If you need my help with something, whistle and I'll be there. I'm handy enough with knives, too. And even my magic know-how isn't too shabby. <laughs> what a load of guff. If you were good at magic, you wouldn't be stuck in here now, would you? Don't you listen to him, Chief. He'd find fault with the Queen herself. I'll be useful to have in battle, and I'll sell whatever you want at a reasonable price. It's your lucky day. You won't meet another gem like me in Canabras. Oh, that's true. You're quite the gem. A very kind of gem. Why are you in chains? Does it really matter? Don't get hung up on the past, Chief. Don't look to the future. Live in the here and now. Uh-huh. He was caught thieving. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> I was literally about, I was literally about to be like, hey, probably stole shit, huh? Uh your shadow, what was that? <laughs> Get me out of here and I'll tell you. And don't worry, it's not contagious. <laughs> I can't help you where you're chained up. How can I free you? That's easy. You know Irabeth? Feisty looking gal, always wears armor. You can't miss her. She's the meanest fighter in the whole city. When you see her, put in a good word for me, will ya? Tell her there's this guy, Wolgif, locked up for no good reason in the Defender's heart. Well, for the follies of his youth. And he really wants to get out on bail so he can keep up his good behavior and make a contribution to society. You got that? Will you do it? Uh, maybe. 
I mean, I, I kind of want to have some more interactions with you because you sound very fun. All right, I'll do it. I knew I could count on you. Knew it the moment I laid eyes on you. Gosh, it also helps he is extremely pretty. Go ahead, don't take long. <laughs> uh, what kind of what kind of stuff you guys got here? Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, lots of loot. Lots of loot. You're just let me take. Cool. Light hammer. Cool. A shield. Oh, a light shield. I can give that to what's her name. Oh, that's cool. It actually took it off the wall. Hell yeah. Can I put stuff on there? The button won't budge. Okay. Uh, that goes to the tavern. Hey, what's this? What does that do? I literally don't know what that does. Alright, let's go steal some more stuff and then we'll leave. Follow my steps. Alright, cool. Just lots of lots of things. Uh, all right, let's go outside. So I really want to get out of here and explore the city a bit. Oh no, I need them. Okay. Oh yeah. All right, cool. We are getting to the city, and we're gonna see how horrible this place is now. Oh, we're at Defender's Heart. Okay. So we gotta go to the Blackwing Library. All right, so this is one of the cool things. So, uh, this is the world scrawling. It's it's the world exploration exploration map. Um, global map of the city of Canabras. Move the visible parts. Blah blah. blah. Uh, some locations might might not be available to you for. For travel, for various reasons, as you explore the map and progress through the game, you'll discover new locations. When traveling between locations, you may be attacked by enemies, so make sure you get enough rest and don't let them take you by surprise. Cool. Um, so I see that I actually walk through the streets, so that's kind of fucking cool. The Great Garrison, I can't get there quite yet. Um, Tier of Bay, oh wow, Tier of Bay Residence is real far. Dang, is there just a hole in the city? Is that what that is? Jeez. Okay, um... Well, I need to get to Market Square anyway. But how do I get to... There's the Tower of Estrad. And the Terravade Residence. Okay. Well, I guess we need to go there first. So let's go to Market Square. And if we end up in a combat, a fallen horse. Sure. Yeah, travel. Oh. Prepare to fight. All right. Be careful, everyone. All right, we just got a few shears here. Um, I want to do... Cast that on him. On him. Uh, Camilla can go to that guy. I want you to step back. Oh wait, can I go there and? Then... I thought I could do this and then that. Okay, I'll just do that. Oh shit. Okay, she went down immediately. Goodness gracious. Okay. Uh. They do an acid splash. What are they weak to? Oh god. Okay, so. Do I have lightning? I can do shocking grasp. I, I just. I'll just do that as my active. But god dang. Oh no. Alright, seal is okay. Oh no. Uh, uh oh. Can it, uh, you know what? I'm gonna use this. Only because I kinda want to. Uh, 
Uh, yeah. Uh oh. Uh, lay on hands yourself. Whew. Okay, Camilla. Well, you. <laughs> that was really tough. Your character Camilla was attacked while they were flat footed. A creature is flat footed when it doesn't expect an attack. Lose. Ah, uh, okay. More enemies in melee with your allies, they outflank you. Okay, so I just need to make sure that she kind of goes in last. Um, yeah, use use these. Shoot. Well, that hurt. <laughs> Jeez. Luckily, I got plenty of these things. Drinking lots and lots of potions. Uh, you can use this, so I will do that. I guess I'll have to keep one of these on. One of these on me. Uh, Spellbook. Oh, I didn't prepare another one. Another one of these. Uh, shock and grasp. All right. Yeah, I got. I, I don't know if I want shock and grasp, but I could use it. Really. Okay. Whew. Let's collect those. Is there other stuff around? Oh, okay. Oh, nice. So the uh, the little combat areas are just like little places in the street. God, this is really cool. Yeah, continue. Reagents in this. Uh, yeah. Sure. And then I guess I'm making my way to the market. What am I fighting? Oh, Marau oh my god, of course Marauders. The spirits demand your blood. Wait, what is that? What? What is that over there? Is there somebody over there? Or is that just his cape that didn't load incorrectly? Oh my god, yeah, the capes are not loading incorrectly. <laughs> Do you see my cape is just like free floating? Uh Cast one of those on him. Lan, you can go for that guy as well. The inheritor. Guide my blade. No. <laughs> yeah, I did. Uh, scroll of Vanish. Oh, I think that's what he was trying to cast. Oh, we all leveled up. Look at that. Yep, or wizard. Boop, 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 boop. Uh, I have one more. Okay, so, yeah, I'll just keep doing perception. Uh, precise shot. You can shoot or throw ranged weapons at. Wait, wasn't. No, I need to... I don't want that. Uh, greater spell focus on evocation, I think. Um, or... Wait a minute. Are there any mana magic feats? No, I get this automatically. You can shoot or throw ranged weapons. Does that count for my spells, though? Uh, combat casting is also something I should absolutely be taking. Oh, level two spells. Oh, man. Oh, God, the creep pit. Yes. Hideous laughter, invisibility. Um, Molten Orb is really, really good because it splashes. Yeah, I'll do the classic. Molten Orb is Scorching Ray. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, just go through. Complete. 
Because I know they all want their stuff, so. Oh, I need to make sure to give her uh, a shield. Why can't I use that? Does she only can you, she can only use bucklers, can't she? God dang it. No, just no. <laughs> no. Of course not. I can never do that. Anyway, let's go. Shears. Um, is it just the one? No, I guess it is. Uh, he was okay. Ray of Frost. I'll just do that. I missed. Dang it! Oh no! Am I at my limit? <laughs> Jeez. All ranged attacks. Uh, oh, so I need to take precise shot. Okay, well next level, or f level five, I can I can take that. Yeah, it should be fine. Getting concentration is actually just a major, uh, majorly good uh, feat to take because doing anything. Can I not take a? No, I need her to take some potions. Uh, trying to cast a hu super high level spell, especially like a touch spell, it's just bad. Just bad in melee. Alright, let's go to the market square, see what's happening in this place. Oh, this looks not good at all. Okay. Knowledge Arcana? What? Knowledge Arcana for what? Oh. Enormous cracks appeared after a magically induced earthquake struck the land. Well, <laughs> this looks like a fucking terrible situation. All right, let's do it. They're, oh God, yeah, these guys have a little resistance just to everything. I figure if I have to, if I go with a wizard, I might have to go into ice, just ice stuff. Oh shit, there's guys here. Oh, Crusaders. Okay, cool. I used all my healing powers up for today. I should have prayed harder to I am today. Tend to live dead. How is that even possible? I can't imagine cadavers without, without her protection. Alright, all these guys look like they're just having some problems. Oh, Marauders. Neophyte Fighter. Oh, I can definitely cast something fun on you. Um, I want to cast Burning Hands on that guy. There we go. Okay, that was good stuff. Oh, 
Okay. Hey, could we go for the fucking barbarian guys? Oh, oh, get over here. Get over here, Pickles. Aim carefully. Uh, go for the archer in the back. Jeez. Oh, I forgot I could do do these things. Yeah. I'll make sure to, to summon summon some of these things. Oh, that's right, I have more spells. Uh disrupt undead, that'd be good. Light also good. Touch of fatigue. Flare. No, oh, they're just dazzles. That's not bad at all. Oh, I can dismiss spells. <laughs> okay. I think they're Oh god, what are these things weak to again? What were they? Uh, journal encyclopedia? Is that monsters? Creatures? Oh my god, the Nabasu? Oh wait, I just have them all? What? Uh, acid, cold, and fire. Okay, so I could do... Oh, they're immune to electricity. Shit. Immune to electricity. God dang it. Really? All right, well, what about directions? Immune to electricity, Jesus criminy. Kind of really thinking the wizard bit, guys. Not gonna lie to you. All right, Let's see what the hell happened here. Oh. There's a lot of stuff. There's a lot of stuff. Rookie Marauder. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Let's take the weapons. Great club, but not that great. Take those things, though. I am not too sure where to go. Um, composite longbow. I kind of just want to circle this city at first, and then and then work work my way in. Okay, Lisa. The elf hunched up next to you is clutching a small but deep puncture wound. Her appearance is quite remarkable. Her skin is blacker than any Gurundi's. Her teeth are fanged, her hair is gray as crones. Her crimson eyes glare at you with a gleam of malice. What are you looking at, soldier? Like what you see? Uh, take a, take a closer look. It appears that this woman is a drow. Oh. Her race is known, is known as dark or cavern elves. Rarely seen on the surface, so it's surprising to encounter you here. Uh, I, I can heal you. Don't. I can handle it myself. I don't like it when strangers cast spell on me. I, I can't leave you in the state. To the abyss with you. The elf tries clumsily to pull away, but the but but the magic does its work, and the stab wound on her body heals quickly. Glaring at you, she mutters through clenched teeth, "Thanks, and for everything, but thanks and everything, but the next person who uses magic on me without permission gets an arrow to the eye." Who are you? Giving you a scrutinizing look, she says harshly. There's no point in knowing. There's no point in you knowing, soldier. Trust me, the answer would only bring you misfortune, and it still wouldn't be of any use to you. I'm a wanderer. You won't ever meet again. Who who wounded you? Haven't you noticed the city's burning? There's battle going on. I was wounded by a cultist. You're a drow, aren't you? She flinches at you with a disgusting sorrow. You have a keen eye for these things, don't you, soldier? You, you guess correctly. I am a drow, but I don't think they give you the right to judge me. There is much you don't know about me. You will never know. Believe me, it's for your own good. Uh, Alright, I have to go. My gut tells me it's time to leave. My gut tells me I... My gut tells me it's time I was leaving too. It's dangerous to stay here. Farewell, soldier. Hmm. Hope she turns out well. Oh, that's just an exit. Okay. Ooh, what'd you find? Oh, hello. Hey. 
Man, I remember how good it felt to hear that little noise. Bing. And then you know you found something real cool. Uh, where to go? Where to go? Hi there, Dretched. Our duty comes. The heartbeat quickens. What are you, what are you guys weak to? <sighs> Boom, got him. How do I? Okay. I'm really not just not liking the fact that all these things are resistant to evocation wizards. Oh, it's a doggy. Oh no, the dog ran out. Okay. Oh shit, Marauders. Oh. I, I, shall not fail. I know, I have a good spell. Hold on. Uh, where is it? We are the light. They are the there we go, cast that. And then, can I? Can I turn? Oh, I can turn that on. Okay. Yep, I guess I'll just keep this on. Oh, shit, he cast Color Spray. Not bad at all. Yeah, hit her. Done. How are they still alive? What? Yeah, Shotgun grabs this dude because he's on the ground. <laughs> there we go. Look, he's, he's flinching. Look at this guy. <laughs> oh, he stopped. Okay. I'll take all these. Don't mind if I do. Scroll of Raven Feeblement. Not, not bad. Going on? I don't know. Can we really do this? Listen, we don't have a choice. There are demons everywhere. What else would you have us do? A group of right surrounds a young elven girl. She's dressed in rags that barely cover the hideous scars on her body. The beggar girl is on her knees, watching placidly as the people argue heatedly around her. It is as if she doesn't sense the looming threat at all. A black crow flies in agitated circles above her head. Sorry, girl, but it is our duty. We have to do this, not for our own sake, but for the sake of everyone who can still be saved from the demons. If we don't win this battle, you won't have long to live anyway. Okay, what's going on here, guys? They're insane. We've got to do something. Uh, yeah. I understand. You're scared. You feel powerless. You think this will help. You don't have to justify yourselves to me. Just do what you've decided to do. Uh, what's going on here? We, we, yeah, explain yourself. Our weapons barely scratch the demon's hides. We're sacrificing this girl to Iomade so we can consecrate our uh, with her innocent blood. Yeah, it doesn't and work. Gain the power to destroy the spawn of the abyss. That's not how Iomade works. Iomade would rather you throw yourself for for her protection than to sacrifice her. The only time that this really worked was um, when 
the Ikuje elves uh, willingly sacrificed themselves in order to power their weapons and push Dahak away. But, like, that was willingly, so, you know, different. It's extreme, but we have no other choice. We have to defend this city somehow, or else we'll all perish, including her. Um, okay. That's ridiculous. The teachings of Iamide directly prohibit the killing of innocents. The goddess of curse her if you're making a so-called sacrifice. Exactly. What were you thinking? The goddess would never allow this. Yeah. Whose idea was this anyway? I think it was yours. <laughs> hey guys, demons do some weird stuff to your brains, man. My idea? I was against the whole thing right from the start. Who said we needed to make a sacrifice? Wasn't it you? You can't blame anyone else for that. Please don't fight. All of you are good people, defenders of the city. You just made a mistake. Please don't hurt them. The little girl is defending the people who wanted to slaughter her a minute ago. She's either a saint or she's insane. Maybe the two together. Uh, go to Defender's Heart. Defender's Defender's Heart Tavern. That's where the survivors are gathering. And don't even think of doing anything so disgusting ever again. Uh, oh, I could be lawful about it. Yeah, I'll do that. Whose idea was it? Not mine, that's for sure. <laughs> I mean, I don't think any of them really knew what they were doing. Well, it wasn't mine. That means. Wait, I, I, it's not. Oh wait, 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 wait. Oh no. <laughs> the two knights beat the third to the ground of fury of blows. With where he, with where he looks in your direction, they flee. You were too sweet. You were like the Luna Lovegood of this entire game. You came to help me. You saved one life. You took another. Was it worth it? Uh, I actually didn't know it would do that, but you know. If you want to die, it can be easily arranged. Uh, I'm sorry I had to do that. Had to? Did someone force you? Oh, no. I guess they. Oh my god. This girl's gonna make me feel bad, isn't she? Uh, I don't think you're an ordinary girl. Uh, <laughs> I, you have that crow there. That's not ordinary either. What's, what's going on with you? No, don't be silly. I'm very ordinary. Well, I know different types of tricks. She's, taught me those. she's a literal witch. <laughs> now, Soot here, she truly is unusual. She's clever and she can talk, but only to me. She teaches me magic tricks and lots of other stuff. I don't know what I'd do without her. Uh, who, who are you? Call me Ember. I live here, on the streets, for many years now. But there's nothing to say about me. Magic tricks, you say. You could prove useful when fighting the demons. I'll be able to protect you from the insane soldiers on the streets. Come, come with me. I must have misheard. This girl? Join our party? Camellia. What could we possibly want with this dirty little beggar? Camellia, shut up. Yeah. We got a witch in our... Is, it, is she a witch? Is she a witch? Stigmatized witch. I knew it. I knew she was a fucking witch. I knew it. Knew it. What do you got? What do you have? Light crossbow? Cool. Yeah. Uh, character. A strange child of horror, a witch who was burned at the stake and yet survived. A godless saint to preach love and kindness to people and demons both. Oh, okay. A homeless orphan who has no home, but who gives to countless people around her. It's hard to understand what hides behind the young elven girl's eyes, and where her bare, burned feet are taking her. She wages a war of her own. Her own child crusade. Dang. Okay, well. She's a... Wait, she's a witch, but she has... She has a high charisma? Why? Is that what stigmatized witch does? What's a stigmatized witch? Can I say that? Some witches think of their magic not as a gift, but as a curse. Her body is tarnished with the mark of ill fate. Maybe the patron of such a witch was cruel and decided that the powers mustn't come cheap. Maybe they mercifully helped the witch to turn the adversaries that befell her into a source of their new strength. 
a stigmatized witch relies on relies on intuition. Her magic base is not on the sharpness of her wit, but the strength of her character. Ah, she's a, she's a charisma based witch. Instead, the ra instead of the regular powers granted by the patron by a patron, such a witch gets a curse like an oracle, and she casts her spells spontaneously like a sorcerer. Ah, that's kind of cool. What abilities do you have? Uh, you got black and so she take a mass for penalty weapon attack rolls. We have burning hand. Oh, that's kind of cool. I mean, she ain't doing weapon attack rolls, that's for sure. One flank shot for side shot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, class abilities. You can cast slumber. You have a raven familiar vulnerability curse. Ooh. Oh, that's right. Oh man, first edition of witches were awesome. Okay. So she'll get her. She's got a hex. How many hexes does she have? She's an atheist as well. Interesting. Okay. Well, uh, I think that Vulnerability Curse is a pretty good one. Make her enemies vulnerable to energy. The sex lasts for a number of rounds equal to the witch's level. How do you... No, but I want to... Can I... Shift to expand? Oh, shift that to expand. Energy Vulnerability makes creatures take 50% more damage than normal from that energy type. Uh, in case creature has both Vulnerability... Has both vulnerability and energy resistance. The spells allow a saving throw, and the effects apply in the following order. Ah, she might be the thing that allows me to get my spells off. Cool. Huh. Okay. Yeah, I want you to do that all the time. She got burning hands. Get your piercing scream and stuff. Alright, so the way I see it. Oh god, I still have a lot to go around here. Well, come here, you weird, weird little girl. <laughs> Do you have anything? Longsword, potions, okay. What's in the house? Walking into this tiny house. Oh us. shit, it's a rat swarm. That's disgusting. Alright, uh, well, I know what to do here. Oh, I don't have burning hands. Fuck. Uh, you have burning hands, though. Oh! Key power, nice. Uh, I think I'm just gonna do Acid Splash, I guess. What do we have here? No, what is that? Yeah, just do Burning Hands. There we go. Is there still a Swarm? No, okay. Okay. Open your heart to me. I heal myself with that. All right, there was a lot of stuff in here. Um, there's a trap that I can have you disarm. I hope you appreciate this. Yeah, pick the pick the lock in there. I am helpful. Hey. Am I not? Some hide armor plus one hide armor. Not bad. And there's a door. Ooh. Season wing at the eyes. Heck yeah. Oh, diamond dust. Decorated scabbard. Nice. Uh, hey, what the fuck? Knowledge Arcana. Summoning circle for summoning ritual. Um, that's of rock. Clever mortals, I can reach you from the inside this circle. Oh, but you forgot something. There's nothing keeping me in here. Nothing at all. Um, I'm going to lose. Oh, shit. No, he just left. 
You engaged a hostile red swarm. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I unleashed a rock. There's just a rock walking around the city. Shit. Well, damn it. That's not good. Okay, um, where am I going? It's area exit into a house, area exit, area exit. So wait, what was I doing here? Level of corruption? This is your level of corruption. Corruption grows with each day of rest. It has three levels of strength. It is advised to avoid the third level of corruption. Different locations might have different corruption growth. Rest in a safe location to remove all corruption. Oh boy. I didn't know that was a thing. Um, which one? Uh, Arabes would appreciate any information asking about her. Yeah, but wasn't one of these Blackwing Library? Get at the tower of the tower, talk to Horgus. Find other survivors. One strike of the demon's lord's satanic scythe and the mer Okay, so I just gotta find people then? I guess so. I'll just keep looting until I find stuff, probably. Yeah, I don't know if there's much I can actually do here. Because that just goes that way. And this just went around. And it came up here. Went all the way over here. Yeah, this looks like all that I can really do. Oh, unless I can go this way. Nope, that is the area exit again. Oh, there's a lock. Scroll of Cure Light Wounds, nice. Alrighty, well. Did I miss anything? Mm, no, not really. Okay, let's go. So we wanted to head to, uh, what did I, wait, what is, what did I need here? The city fair with lots of attractions, a lot of music, blah, blah, blah. Cleave the land with his terrible scythe. Marking the beginning of the, okay. All right, well, um, what did I want to do first? That's all really, really far. Uh, oh, I could get a black wing. A large rift tour can never support divine the two cities in half. There's currently no way of crossing it. Oh, okay. Wait, what's the divided city? Should we wait to get across the rift that divides the city according to Anivia? It's a convenient place to cross in the market square. Oh, so I guess it's just telling me that I can. All right. There's someone on the road. Get ready. All right. Let's see what's happening. No, not the horse. Hello. <gasps> nice. Silver medallion. Gold earring. Nenio. 
Who are you? Wearing a robe? Check. Baphomet symbol around the neck? Check. Crazy eyes? Check. Note to self. Bring a mirror next time to be able to adjust the optimal level of eye craziness. Everything is ready for the experiment. An audience. Problematic, but not critical. You there, boy. Stay out of this. It is counterproductive to stand in the way of scientific progress. Uh, what, what are you doing? Girl. and girls i am your sister <laughs> and Finn, a devotee of lord baphomet's dark will and so on and so oh on. my gosh she looks like one of us but she talks kind of weird who's there with you who oh them just an audience they don't matter consider them a supplementary component of the coming experiment uh I, i'm gonna see where this goes in the name of our lord baphomet Please be so kind as to undertake a little test of your competency in our wicked cause. <laughs> Let's start with something simple. So here's my first question. What is Lord Baphomet's favorite weapon? We will not answer to you. Our Lord can wield any kind of weapon. He is all powerful. Yeah, that was kind of the mistake you made. Thinking that they would just be like, Oh, we'll, we'll answer a quiz about Baphomet. No weapons at all. He doesn't need any. He just gores his enemies with his horns. Uh oh. Oh, I can do that one. I don't know for sure, but I like the answer about the horns. <laughs> that is correct. But still, boy, no prompting, please. Alright, sorry. This experiment has taken quite a surprising turn. I would never have expected the followers of the great Baphomet to be baffled by such a simple question. Fine. Let's recalibrate the difficulty and proceed with the next question. Please name Lord Baphomet's sacred animal. Oh, I don't even know that one, actually. Um, yeah, let's just see what it is. A bull! Of course everybody knows that. Yep, and a cow. Oh my god, I'm gonna butt in every single time. <laughs> I'd like to ask you to stop prompting them, but it seems they could do with a prompter. <laughs> <laughs> They're not that smart, apparently. It appears the experiment has yielded results which are as unexpected as they are incredible. Baphomet's cultists have not the slightest idea about who Baphomet really is, let alone any in-depth knowledge of his ideology or philosophy. I'm positive that this news will cause a sensation in widest scientific circles. I love her so much. <laughs> she is so wholesome. <laughs> She's like, oh, I'm just going to experiment with these people. Tell me to become a plowman. Yeah, go do that. Go rethink your life and stop selling death sticks. And stop worshiping, stop worshiping Bahama. Hey, take it easy. We've only had two questions. You there? Come on, ask another one. We'll get the next one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is there any sense in continuing? You cannot answer the simplest of questions. I am ashamed of all of you, as cultists and as individuals. Uh huh. Please ask again. I can answer. I'm sure I can. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> this is incredible. How do you spell Baphomet's name? He's gonna spell it with an F. He's gonna spell it with an F. I fucking know it. B yes. A F A oh, screw it. To hell with Baphomet. I thought it was gonna be fun, but instead there are all these questions. I'm done here. Fri I'm going back to my home village. Freaking my mother. Freaking incredible. Discord in our ranks. Grab her and tie her up, and her entire entourage too. Uh oh. The experiment is complete. Unable to deal with the questions, the cultists decide to deal with the examiner instead. A typical reaction for a person who has never been burdened with any intelligence. <laughs> now you're gonna start hitting each other, aren't you? Please proceed. I won't interrupt. Did we find trouble? No. Half of a cultist, the archer. What is he? Sharpshooter. What fun spells do I have that I could do? Uh, oh, just mage armor still. All right. Good for that guy in the back. 
Oh man, can I please cast Slumber? Okay, I slumber on that guy. Wait, how did I go down? What the fuck? Who's that? The absence of an answer is an answer to... Who's that? Ooh. Mysterious. The result is statistically predictable, especially considering their intelligence level. Always be ready for the worst. What about you, boy? Are you ready to answer some questions for the good of science? You sure? Let's proceed with the experiment. My first question is simple. Which colors does the goddess Iomade prefer? Isn't it gold? Gold? No. Silver? Oh man, I don't know. Silver and gold, maybe? Or red and white? Red and white, probably. Or red and gold. Ooh. Uh, red and gold. Red and gold are the colors of Baphomet. Oh shit! Iomade's colors are red. And Damn it! <laughs> yeah. I suppose I should terminate the experiment due to the subject's utterly woeful performance. But don't get upset. We all can't be smart. Someone has to be strong. I liked how you defeated those cultists. Thank you. It seems to me that I owe you an explanation. My name is Nenio. I am an explorer, a pilgrim, a yet to be recognized scientific luminary future author of the great encyclopedia Galarionica, and rector of all Absalom's universities at once. Future rector, I should say. I also know several spells. Oh, that's good. You can finally tell me where you're going with all these questions. It is so heartening to see you strive for knowledge. I have been conducting an experiment comparing the intellectual abilities of the average cultist with those of the average crusader. That's an interesting experiment, but go on. Unfortunately, the experiment has proven that the opposing parties possess approximately equal faculties in this regard. A shame, indeed, for I have always claimed that despite the popular beliefs about the limited intellectual abilities of those in the army, at least some of them can be considered educated. It appears I was mistaken. Oh. Uh... <laughs> Cadaveris is safe right now. Should we join forces? to the world rune to assist me in my experiments to run errands for me perhaps even to write down my deepest thoughts for the benefit of future generations oh how splendid of course i agree uh that's not what i meant but all right truth be told i have no money to pay you but you will be aiding the progress of science and that is its own reward uh but sure excellent you're hired to think that i finally found someone to accompany me 27 crusaders before you said no not one of them saw the undeniable appeal of my offer. Oh, well, they just didn't see the entertainment value in all of this. Your first assignment is to take me to a safe place. I have to admit that today's experiment has left me quite tired. Uh-huh. Okay, so what is she? Are you ready to move out? She a scroll savant. Awesome. Fuck yeah. Cool, so uh, that means... Some wizards consider scrolls natural extensions of their magical abilities. Okay, so she is just really, really good. Yeah, look at her intelligence. Shit, maybe she'll be my wizard. But what am I going to be? Hmm. I don't quite know yet. Um, in this case, you could probably use quite a few of these. Uh, cure light wounds, fine. Scroll calls fear. Protection from law. Brave and feeble in it. I'll give you that one. You don't have any armor. You don't even wear any, so never mind. Okay, then.
use a bunch of these because we are low on HP right now. Hey, I got a six person party going on too, though. Take that, take that, take that, take that, take that, take that, take that. Dope. So that was just a random encounter, huh? Just a totally random encounter. Uh, that's not the formation I want. What's going on here? Upon receiving the attack command, the party members will move toward the enemy at speed, not exceeding the speed of the party member position on the front. Oh. Okay. That's fine. So this is the Tower of Estrad. Oh. Holy shit. Canabra's bones. The city should have never fallen. Fate shows no mercy. That's a fucking angel? What? Clouds may veil the stars, but nothing can hide the light in someone's soul. As I see the light in you... These actually might just be ghosts. We will stand shoulder to shoulder with you against evil. Oh yeah, these might be um, ghosts or like previous visions or something. I hear the echo of a familiar voice. I feel the warmth of my kindred flame. My brother, we will help you. Okay. Vision of the Herald. Okay. Daniel by a fountain. The picture presumably painted the life over, over the summer. Summer of 4637, one year before Daniel's heroic death during the Battle of Dresden. Uh huh. Farewell to Sarcosis. Gotcha. No one will escape my all-seeing eye. Ah, okay. So the Tower of Elrond. Seat of Grief. A view of the infamous Heaven's Gate Estate. This is the place where most Mendevian, Mendevian aristocratic society once fell prey to a supernatural plague unleashed by the demons. Yep. Jeez. Okay, so... An interesting place. Whoever you are, keep quiet. There's a horde of enemies just beyond this door. Go from over here and you'll see you'll see the okay. Can I go stealth? Stealth. Now we are making a mystery of ourselves. Keep quiet, you don't want to draw any attention. Be quiet and watch. This is the best part. Oh shit. Get it together, idiots. No more looting. You ought to sit right here and wait for the order to attack the defender's heart. It's the last bastion of the Crusader resistance. We'll flatten them and claim our victory.
Enter the abyss with all the crusaders that defend us hot. Kylus, the city is ours already. Now is the time to enjoy the spoils. Split up into groups quickly. I'll tell you where to go and what to bring back. Facts on you, idiot. Go back to Baphomet. He must be missing his lapdog. Everyone here will be following my orders. I'm in charge. We won't submit to you, you dirty desecrate. Give out to this Kylus, or I'll curse all your extremities to wither and drop off. Everyone listen to me. What we're going to do is this. Go on, you can... Okay. Looking for a fight, Faxon? Well, you've got one. Jeez. Had enough, worm? I'm in charge here. Kylus is the strongest. No looting, only slaughter. We're gonna sit here and wait for the command to attack. The defender's heart will fall. Stay away from there right now. The tower is the main stronghold of the Templars of the Ivory Labyrinth and their allies. Going up against that many of them would be suicide. I have a better idea. Okay, all right. If the demons and their mortal agents were better organized, the Crusaders would have been crushed long before now. But they're always trying to spread in every direction. Right now, in every corner of the city, there are demons like Kylas who are trying to consolidate their forces to launch a joint attack on the Defender's heart. Graybor, I'm a contract killer who's been hired to kill that demon that just walloped that other one. I've tracked him all the way here and was planning to kill him when that crowd showed up, so I had to pull back. Don't even think about trying to take them all on single-handed. You'll be mincemeat. Better to warn the Crusaders in the Defender's heart that the demons are planning to attack. And later, once the attackers have been taken care of, it'll be much easier to sweep through this tower and eliminate the Defenders left behind. Like when dueling with rapiers. One doesn't lunge, but waits for the opponent to strike and leave themselves open. That is very true. Yeah, exactly. Thanks for the advice. Uh, who hired you? I'm afraid that's confidential. As a professional, I'm obliged to keep my client's name a secret. Well, do you think we could attack them together? I have no desire to die today. Oh, okay. If you choose to go in there, I'll take advantage of the opportunity, of course. I'll kill Kylas and get back here as quickly as I can. I'm not going to fight any of the others. I don't work for free. Gotcha. Well, you are a man of rules. The city is burning. People are dying. And you're thinking about how to fill your pockets? Yes. So what? Listen here, girl. If you're so eager to save someone, go and do it. And don't waste your breath preaching at me. I hope you act wisely. You're so sad. Please take care. <laughs> Uh huh. Saving game is impossible. Interesting. Well, I did like his plan of waiting. But I could go down. But then he wouldn't be happy with me. Um. Wait, what's that? What's that buff? I don't know what that buff is. Oh, okay. Huh. So. Luckily, the disorganization has now prevented them from consolidating their forces and crushing the resistance as they try to attack the Fender's heart. The axe is poised to fall on their heads of the Crusaders, so survival hinges on whether they learn this information before. Oh, okay, so now we need to get back there. Okay. 
or do I try to do it now? Oh, I don't know. I kind of like that guy, but I think I do need to make my make my exit to go tell them. Okay, so I guess we just got to get back to back to Defender's Heart. And take three hours. <sighs> Another combat. All right. Wait, how many guys are here? Like, none? Oh, there's a guy behind us. An evoker. Alright, cast sleep on him. And Neo, you can cast some spells. Blinding Ray? Oh, shit, yeah. Baphomet Cultus. Baphomet Cultus. I mean, sure, why not? How many times can I do that per day? Round. Oh, I have eight. Okay. And she's got crate pit. Well, I'll cast that on him. Your performance is lacking. You are lacking. <laughs> God, crate pit is cool. Oh, and he's just in the pit. Uh, well. Yeah, I guess we'll just wait. <laughs> How long does that last? <laughs> that was fucking funny. Okay. Oh, shit. Kind of don't want to be here. God, that was scary. Lightning will do more to me than demons will. So let's go tell them that there's an attack going to be happening soon. Oh, I never really looked around this place. What's over here? So let's go tell what's her name. Kind of prepare for this whole thing. Uh, where is she? This way. Erebeth. Hi. Oh, by the way, is a tiefling chained up in Defender's Arf? What can you tell me about him? <laughs> Wolgif is a petty thief from a gang of thieflings. What a great name. I love that name. Operating in Canaveras. That's what we call them in, in these in these parts. They tried to rob a vendor of magical items recently. Unfortunately, we unfortunately we apprehended only one of them, but the rain is, and the rest managed to escape. We have nowhere nowhere else to keep him apart from Defender's Heart, but that's hardly a prison. Old Jeff knows it too. He's been begging us for days to let him go free and have and have someone vouch for him. He's already asked you to put a, put a good word for him. Put a good word for him, hasn't he? Looks squints at you thoughtfully and shrugs. 
If you want to recruit Wolgif and put him to good use, go ahead and take him off, take him off our guard's hands. We can ill afford to let a soldier spend their days watching a middling thief. I hope the tiefling proves useful, should you decide to take him along. Demon plans to attack Defender's Heart very soon. Thanks for the warning. We knew it would happen. We didn't expect it so soon. The demons are highly chaotic and disorganized. Someone must be going to great lengths to gather them into a horde and smother the last pockets of resistance. Well, I'll make sure there are a few surprises in store for them. Uh, it is not time to attack the tower yet. Okay, well. Uh, my scouts in the city still haven't reported any movements of demon hordes. The defenders are safe, at least for now. I'll send a messenger for you when the situation changes. Okay. Alrighty. Um, let's, uh, let's, uh, get going. Let me add to my spell book. Oh, I never added these. That's right. I really freaking wish that I wasn't a wizard. I know it's like the millionth time that I've changed my character, but I'm just like, ugh. What other, what other spells are there? Could I have like Frigid Touch? That's Evocation, but that's a touch spell. Within touch range, yeah. Resist Energy. Can't even take those. They're good against acid, too. Any of these? Can't take Grave of Feebleman, okay. Yeah, and then Ray of Frost. Well. I guess that's that. Um, ugh. Alright. I think I'm just... I think I'm gonna call it here. Figure out what kind of build I want to make, because now that I have a badass wizard, um, I'm kind of like, well, uh, maybe it's maybe it's not not maybe wizard ain't the best thing for it. So, anyway, um, hope you guys had a great time. Um, I'm having a blast with this game. Lots of dialogue. I will say that. Lots and lots of dialogue. Anyway, hope you guys had a great time, and I will see you all next time. Oh, if you're watching this on Twitch, make sure to uh, uh, make sure to give us a follow. Watching this on YouTube, make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.